Toyota will launch an upgraded Ego City car that offers more power and improved refinement at the Geneva Motor Show next month, due on UK roads this summer. The Hyundai i10 rival, which has been on sale since 2014, now produces 71 bhp and 69 pounds feet from its 1.0 liter three cylinder petrol engine, a 2 bhp gain, and an unchanged torque output. The small boost enables a 0 to 62 miles per hour time of 13.8 second to top speed of 100 miles per hour, improvements of 0.4 sec and 1 mile per hour, respectively. There are also improvements to fuel economy. Raising the Ago 68.9 miles per gallon combined figure to 72.4 miles per gallon. Toyota says there are, has also been a reduction to the car's 95 grams kilometer CO2 output, although it is yet to finalize the exact figure. A new fuel injector system, higher compression ratio and lower friction engine components are labeled as the key features enabling the improvements. Diego also now has a cooled gas recirculation system to improve efficiency, and a more effective balancer shaft to reduce vibration. Toyota hints at 2019 Super Return with preview image. Alongside the powertrain improvements, Toyota's engineers have tweaked the Ego's suspension and steering settings to sharpen its responses. Although exact details are currently unconfirmed, it suggests the steering rack may be slightly faster. In addition, the 2018 car has thicker soundproofing, the Toyota says enables a marked reduction in noise, vibration and harshness at all engine speeds. Minor changes have also been made to the Ego styling, with the distinctive X-shaped nose now color-coded with the rest of the body. There are new LED lights too. Buyers get a choice of more colors and wheel designs, while inside there's a higher definition instrument cluster screen and new interior trim options. UK specifications for these will be confirmed closer to the car's on sale date, which will likely be in June. The Ego is one of Toyota's best selling cars in Europe. With 85,000 examples, having found homes in the past four years, it represents 6.6% of the A-segment market, which also features the likes of the Volkswagen Up and Peugeot 108.